recited HCV and I thought it was the most uh, well, unbelievable, you know, it's in incredulous, I incredible. Maybe the biggest adventure, <laughs> maybe the biggest adventure that you can, can get on. At first, us, it's very impossible. It never crossed our mind how we can, how we can uh, air these programs and broadcast them all throughout Asia, covering China, Southeast Asia and the whole of the country Philippines. When his coming broadcasting network was aired February 1, 2009, at first we can believe we are already in the air. In fact, we, cannot, we don't have a clear concept that we have that signal available up in the air that can be captured, that can be retrieved by the people in China, in Malaysia, in Vietnam, and the whole country Philippines. Uh, you have to have major, you know, though, a lot of funds to be able to do broadcasting. Only the multimillionaires and the billionaires do it, not people, not ordinary people like us started with not even 10% of the money that we need, not even 5%. It's almost nothing. You can say that we started with nothing, but the Lord keeps it going. On all the media projects that we started, nobody had the experience or the training or the uh, the basic information of how to do it. But the Lord showed to us that nothing is impossible with Him. That all He needs is just our commitment. That we have to step forward in faith. And He will show us the rest. We also believe that the many, the many uh, methods we employ, the better. The Lord wants a partnership with man. He can finish the work through the angels, but He wants, He calls people to join Him in this uh, mission of saving souls. People are so busy. We can. We, we, we thought of reaching them easily through so media than by just doing it personally. Still, we uphold what Jesus Christ taught, what was exemplified by His life, that uh, personal evangelism is still effective, but uh, we also are you know, exploring some other means. This is not, of course, uh, not to say that we are, we are improving on what Jesus Christ has given to us as example. We were able to uh, come up into a decision, an action where the executive committee uh, was able to uh, support not only 3BN but uh, his coming broadcasting network because uh, the point there is uh, let us not give the public one option. Yeah, one option. If we have only 3BN, of course the conference is is uh, supporting 3BN, but 3BN is only uh, available here in Iloilo City, but uh, outside the city, like for example in the nearby towns, there's no longer 3BN, they cannot have access to 3BN, but those with the uh, Dreams satellite cable, they can have access through our message through three, His coming broadcasting network. The Lord has shown to us through the opportunities that He's giving us to reach out to the world, not only to our neighbors, but to the people, to our brothers and sisters, even in Islamic countries. You know, it's very different when you look at prophecy 
look at the things that are happening around you in the light of prophecy. It's going to be gearing up for the loud cry, no doubt. And what we're seeing is we're supposed we may we are going to be uplinking and coordinating for another two more satellites for two more stations. We believe that uh, we'll not limit only to 3EBN but of course th not only is coming if God will give us the opportunity we will expand. Most likely what's going to happen is we're going to get more people who will be interested to put in their time people who will be willing to put in put in their availability to meet the challenges of this work. Uh, we're experiencing growth um, and we see a lot, of a lot more volunteers coming into the picture. The Lord had paved the way the money, the people that is needed to keep it going, the talents, the volunteers, the equipment. In fact, even until now, we cannot comprehend how it happened. But it simply is happening. Um, we don't have to have the necessary training to be a volunteer. You can come as a prayer warrior, you can come as a makeup artist, you can come as a, even as a cook or maybe somebody just wants to do marketing. We don't care if everybody thinks we're crazy. If it's, the Lord, if it's what the Lord wants us to do, we'll do it, you know. He says, you know, what is wisdom to man is foolishness to God and what is wisdom to God is foolishness to man and, you know, some people will think it foolish. And also it is a realization for us that it does not require millions of people or even thousands of people to do God's work. It can start with a small church just like Riverview with a membership of about 80 members and majority are uh, in poverty line level. Being available and be, being, um, what's the term we use? Willingly available is the key to all the reasons because if we look at, look at our capabilities, we're not ever going to find the persons who are uh, who are bred for this kind of work um, in our church i don't think it exists maybe it does but not here in the philippines your qualification is only your willing availability nothing else it's not how smart you are it's not what resources you have it's whether you're willing and able we just do what's needed to be done we study how to do it and then we just try to do it as easy and as simple as we can. When we have that realization that the Lord that we serve, that the Lord that we love is the owner of everything. He owns not only our life, not only the wealth of this world. He owns and He created the universe and He can do things beyond our imagination. And you know, when, once you realize your limitations, <laughs> you realize what a great God we have because all we can do is pray and ask it from Him because we know we don't have it. We believe, by God's grace, that very, very soon, the Lord's coming will be a reality.